Hi, I am Dr. Rajdeep. I am a dermatologist and dermatosurgeon practicing at Sharma, a skin, hair and nail clinic attached to Chirag Hospital in JP Nagar, Bangalore. There is a very important mechanism in our skin to prevent damage due to sunlight and this mechanism is called as tanning. So tanning is of two types, there is an immediate tanning and there is a delayed tanning. Immediate tanning occurs when we are exposed to the sunlight uh, for more than half an hour or an hour. This is when the melanocytes, they are the cells in the skin which produce a certain pigment called melanin. Melanin is the brown pigment in our skin and this brown pigment absorbs the harmful radiation from the sunlight. So this melanin is present in certain structures inside the cells called melanosomes. These melanosomes on exposure to sunlight for a prolonged period of time, they start forming a sort of umbrella over the nucleus of the cells. So this umbrella protects the cell's nucleus and the DNA from sun damage. So this is called as immediate tanning. Delayed tanning is even when you are not exposed to sun but you have been exposed to sun previously, the body knows that you need sun protection. So it starts producing more melanosomes. These melanosomes are then transferred to the surrounding skin cells from the melanocytes. So this process takes time. This takes anywhere between 3 to 7 days and this is called delayed tanning. Delayed tanning lasts for a long time, it lasts for up to 3 months. So if you want to prevent tanning, you need to use external sun protection. You need to bypass your body's mechanism of protecting you and you need to use an external protection. So you can use umbrellas, you can use hats, you can use protective clothing and of course you can use sunscreens. But remember sunscreens are short acting, they go away when you sweat, they go away when there is water and uh, they need to be reapplied frequently. So the best way to prevent tanning is avoid sun exposure and uh, there are detanning creams. These are creams which remove melanin from the skin or which have a peeling effect on the skin which helps to regenerate new skin which doesn't have as much melanin content. So at home you can use a mild scrub, you can use AHA uh, solutions, you can use BHA solutions. These are peeling solutions which uh, help to regenerate skin at a faster rate. Of course, if you have sensitive skin, these AHA and BHA solutions can cause skin damage and can cause uh, mild burns as well. In the clinic, we give depigmenting creams, we do chemical peels, we do laser toning. So these are some of the common procedures that are done for reducing tanning. And remember, sunlight causes tanning, so you need to protect yourself from sunlight if you want to avoid tanning. To watch more videos from me, please subscribe to Doctor's Circle.